I have confirmed it for myself after this episode. I fucking hate Rings of Power. I think it's one of the worst written shows I have ever seen. And it is just about wasting the most money I have ever seen wasted. Um, and it's a fucking shame. It is an absolute laughing stock. Tolkien and the world of Tolkien is a gold standard in fucking writing and in fantasy. And this is an embarrassment. It is an embarrassment and it is a travesty and it is insulting if you take it as a work of Tolkien. They do absolute disjustice to, uh, to the lore. Now, let's say you say, I don't care about Tolkien. I don't care about the lore. How does it work on its own? On its own, it is laughable. Some of the po most poorly written characters ever, except for Durin and Eldron. These Durin and Eldron hold this episode up in particular, and I'm like, God damn, Durin is an excellent actor. I fucking love that guy. He is carrying this show on his back. I just want to see an Elrond Durin show. I don't want to cut to the Harfoots. I don't want to fucking cut to the fucking elves and the, er, the fucking Theo and the fucking butchered Norman Numenorians. They butchered the Numenorians. They're not done butchering the Numenorians. Now they're going to butcher our best Numenorian. I cannot believe the scene they gave him. It made me burst out laughing when the man was crying on screen. I burst out laughing because of the way this is filmed, because of the way it's set up. None of the emotional moments in this fucking show work. Why? Because if you took a basic fucking writing class, you would know that they are making all of the mistakes, all of the rookie. This is amateur. This is amateur hour. So I am going to go on a big, long rant, even though that already was a big, long rant. But before I do that, I'm going to kick it to Alex. No, I'm no, very, no. Yes, no. you go. <laughs> Air the, oh, comments you wants to it. fucking hear from you, Alex. <laughs> you give it to him. The lower mess. What do you fucking think of Rings of Power episode seven? I mean, it's it's bad. I mean, we've been saying it. I've been saying it's bad for a while. And so, yes, this has nothing to do with the original works. It's garbage. They left a bunch of important stuff on the table. We're not getting it. And this is what we get in. in, in we have a scene where the queen's like, I don't want anyone to know I'm blind. And the very next scene, she's wearing a giant wrap <laughs> over her eyes and you're letting her know she's, she's blind. She's putting it as a bandana. Uh, if it just fell down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No. <laughs> last, ep <laughs> last episode, we had uh, Galadriel going on like, I'm going to murder and torture every last orc, and I'm going to make you live the whole time. And so when I finally slit you open and <laughs> kill you in your guts, uh, you'll know she that is... I killed the last. And then she's like, don't talk bad about killing orcs. Don't say that make... word. Don't say that. It's Good. Like, it's I hope like... they die. Don't say that. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck? Uh, we have the Harfoots trying to give a... It's just like every every, every episode just doesn't work next to the other one because the like, Harfoots are like, we don't leave people behind. The and most horrible we, we keep on walking and it's like two episodes ago. And then they're ago, like, get out of here. Yeah. You broke a tree branch in front of us. Yeah, so I mean... And we're going to leave you behind the whole time. Like we left this family behind the, the whole time. Everyone left behind. <laughs> And only jerks on the trail. Everyone left behind. And only and I shit. swear to God, if female Sam Wise does one more goddamn song, I'm going to throw myself out of that fucking window. That's a second floor window, if you don't know. <laughs> it's literally the best scene of this episode. And I'm talking, it actually made me feel something. When his fa when Duran's father and, and Duran are screaming and yelling at each other. I felt fucking emotion. I'm like, holy shit. There's one goddamn writer in the room who knows what he's doing. Like, it feels like the Elrond Durin stuff is a completely different writing team from the Harfoots and the other elf shit, right? Galadriel shit. Because, and then when that scene ends, it is immediately <laughs> undercut by I don't know my dad and the Harfoots. Oh, and I'm like, oh my God. It just ruins every, any momentum that the show was trying to pick up. Alex, do you have anything more to say? Because I have 
a huge a list. Huge of list. Grease. This is going um, to be a two-hour video. <laughs> I mean, just I just think that this is probably an episode where you're probably going to lose a lot of the casual people who just don't care about Lord of the Rings in general. Um, this wait, wait, wait. The the show will lose them, or the show is lose. They'll they'll lose this episode. Us. They don't agree with us. No, I think that the the, the average person who's just like, I just want to watch a generic fantasy thing. I mean, there's a lot of yeah. They're they're fine. We know that, right? Is I that what you're saying? No, I'm saying that this episode is either going to lose That it loses people. even them. Yeah, I think that there's a lot of people that are going to watch this and just go like, none of this is making sense. They talk about, you know. No, that, I'm on Twitter all the time and people are mad that I yeah, don't Yeah, but like Twitter's it. not real life. And like, True. Uh, I, I just, I think that there's going to be a lot of average people going like, wait a minute, wait, what's fucking happening? Why? I'm supposed to be rooting for Nori, who's constantly like, she tr- like tries to run up to Feminem and be like, no, it's going that way. And then the, I, 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 I was put my hand up and cheered yes. uh, when the Harfoots got lit on fire. I was <laughs> like, I was like, yeah, Feminem fuck is now my favorite motherfucking character. Like, yeah. I, Alex is usually quiet when we watch these things. Alex bursts out, yeah! yeah! It's like, fuck you, little bitches. Because they're not <laughs> the Harfoots. They are disgusting, they are. horrible people that are pieces of shit. Yeah. So I, I think we lost the lore people a long time ago, and I think that the casual audience is going to start seeing the cracks, and it makes me upset because they started filming season two right now, yeah. and they're just going to make keep make, keep more making the same shit. So yeah. you lost the lore people, you lost the half lore people and the Numenorian fans, and what about the casuals? Now you're losing. Now you're losing the casuals. After an episode we have Joe. last, we had a good episode the last one. No, Joe. Yes, it was a battle. No, yes, <laughs> and no, <laughs> yes. the most pathetic Helm's Deep battle. Rip off I've ever seen where they defend one village. For now, this, I will agree with show, you, Joe. Yeah. I gave it my highest rating. But upon thinking about it, no! <laughs> because now I know, Joe, I when this thing ended, I was like, okay, all right, so that's cool. We got a little skirmish. Let's get to the main battle. Uh, we probably got like three episodes left. We're on episode seven. And there was a little mention of a, in, in the finale. And I was like, what? And I looked this up. I thought... This is episode seven. I was like, okay, we got a few more to do, right, to fix this. <laughs> this is the penultimate episode. The ve- There's only one more. There's literally one more. Nothing is going to happen. There are no rings. <laughs> there are no power. There is nothing. There, there is no Sauron. Well, we, knew, we know who Sauron is. Disa. But we have no... <laughs> just... I... I cannot believe it. I am a men- I am making score adjustments. I'm stopping right here. What do we give the last one? I have fucked up, and I was one? way too optimistic when we started this series. Yes. And now I'm going to adjust all of my scores now where I know that this is going, because there's literally only one more. Episode one, I gave a six. Okay. I'm surprised I gave it that that low because I was I was like let's let's do this. No, it is a five. It is average at best. It's like okay, boring plotting, average. The good stuff is coming later. No good stuff comes later. Episode two, I gave a seven. That is going to a five. Episode three, I gave a six. That is going to a five. This is painfully average television episode four that spends so much money to hold it up that's if without the budget of amazon without the sheer fucking hubris of changing tolkien's lore of changing better stories into worse stories we might have something good but we don't episode four goes from a five out of ten originally down to a four out of ten episode six goes from a seven I literally just gave it a seven. I rewatched it. It's a fucking six. So the highest that this series has achieved is a six out of ten, and that's at its fucking best. At its worst, a three out of ten because Durin and Elrond are caring. And yeah, guess what? Sure. This episode seven, uh, I'm going to go with a motherfucking three out of ten. A three already. Because this motherfucking Durin and Elrond Earn all of that points themselves. Everything else was a fucking joke. Made me laugh out loud. Well, uh, let's go ahead and, and, and jump into final verdict since I already gave that away. Yeah, so for me, I felt like this episode, nothing happened. <clears throat> Besides the Durian and uh, El- Elrond um, mm-hmm. conversation, those were amazing. Nothing really happened. Everyone just tending to the wounds. Right. Bullshit. Everyone should be dead. Bullshit We're happening. getting there. We're getting there, but literally, uh, the 
<laughs> the volcanic <laughs> flow just went over everybody. And that, that flow, that pyroclastic flow killed everyone except for our, our main characters. Do you see the level of writing? Every single main character is, oh, my God, this person's dead. Oh, they're dead. That guy's dead. And they're all alive, every single one of them. Oh, wait, we lost that one guy. Isildur. No. We lost, uh, what's his name? Oh, uh, 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 Antimo? Fucking, it's what? O. How do you even know his name? What's his name? Is it Antimo? Ha- Antonimo. Uh, um, he was under Antimo. a building and then he rolls out. Of- <laughs> He's like, he looks <laughs> like camera. Bleh. Oh, no. <laughs> Not that guy. I was, I, I was like, wait, is he supposed to be I, I an was, important character? Because I don't really know. I don't he told know. his he, oh, he that's told, the one. He told his wife, he's like, oh, the war will be over before I step off the boat. I'm definitely coming home. No one's killing me. I am so sick of this dead. show saying, this guy's dead, this guy's dead. It's a fucking Asildor. <gasps> oh, my God, Asildor's <laughs> dead. If, you, if you're a dead. Tolkien fan, you're like, this is the stupidest shit I've seen. If you're not, then maybe you're like, uh, no, this is the stupidest shit I've seen. I, nobody believes. You, o- you already know he's got the fucking plot on. Get him. this. Bronwyn, they they do a Bronwyn fake out in this episode. Is she dead? Oh my god, she's dead. That's she's dead. What did they do last episode? Oh my god, Bronwyn, she's dead. Look at this. She's, she's dead. They do the same fucking thing twice. They back to back. Mwah! Awesome writing. There are so many inconsistencies. It feels like a first draft of a fucking show. Rushed into production yes. with novice writers and inexperienced directors. And I proved that. I have sources for that. It's not landing with any emotional weight in any of its major moments. And uh, it's as if nobody ever read the dialogue out loud. To see if it sounded like cringe. Because I am so tired of all of these, uh, what is it, strength to the Southlands and, and these, these sayings that they say that they think are fucking amazing, but they're awful. What Southlands? Literally one village? It's gone. Two villages? <laughs> We never fucking bothered. They're like, Joe, it's a lot of world building. What world building? We have no idea what the Southland... There's, like, no fucking world building with the Southlands. And Alex made a funny point. It's like, every time we see the Southlanders, there, there's more and more. So we lost half of them to Mordor, because half of them joined Mordor. <laughs> and then a bunch of them died in the fight. And then, uh, assumingly, the a bunch died in the, in the pyroclastic flow. Yeah. And then, now there's more now of them. There's more than there's ever it's, been. It's like, how are they coming back? Where are the they, fucking they've Numenorian got fucking thing. Dothraki They're armor. Fucking. They, whenever you, you kill them, they come back in mass numbers. They're fucking... The writing is so bad. Uh, there is no poetry. Alex can attest to this, that Tolkien's words... It, it, it can border into poetry. It's it's so fucking good. There's no poetry in this particular world. The speeches are absolutely Garbage. awful. Garbage. If you know anything about writing. Um, so I have so much more to say, but I want you all to interject. Okay. Uh, with me, like I was saying, uh, we're doing already final verdicts. It's going to be a four. I didn't like any of this. Like a lot of the stuff... Nothing happened in this episode. Everything was like just bare bones, terrible writing. Like s- stuff is supposed to make you tug on your heartstrings or make oh, no, made it dead. supposed to be tension. Mm-hmm. It was not tension filled. These characters just contrast each <laughs> other all the fucking every uh, every other episode. They're doing something they that they, they just weren't supposed. It's like wait, you just said you, just you weren't <laughs> gonna do that, but now you're doing this. Fucking make up your mind. It, these characters are just so stale. You don't care about them. The only ones we do care about, we already talked about. Exactly. And Durin. even it's like, uh, like I'm pulled in. I was like, oh, this is amazing. And it just fucking pulls the rug right under you. It's like, oh, the Harfoots. Or, <laughs> <And I would laughs> or, or we go back <laughs> to the fucking the Southlanders. The shitty like, it doesn't matter. And Theo, I don't know what Theo. I'm was surprised you gave it that hard uh, high for because of Durin and. Uh, oh, Elrond. because uh, also the Harfoots <laughs> caught on fire. <laughs> I was like, that was, that right. was, that was, was that the location they were going to the whole time, or was that just no, a particular area just they were camping out? Yeah, because they still had all their carts and shit. 
Yeah. And but then... but he just randomly goes up, hey, can you fix these fucking trees? Just a minute ago, you wanted to fucking ditch the fucking... Whatever, man. What? Okay. Yeah, they're like, oh, well, we already asked too much. Like, well, I will ask him to do more. I was like, you being, you guys are being pieces of shit, but I guess that does tie into Hartfoots. They are pieces of shit. They are pieces of shit. They ask more and more. They, than, like, <clears throat> they, they, the, he's trying to do his thing. They're like, let's go up and touch him. It's like, let him do his thing. Back off. He's like, oh, no, a branch fell down and almost killed somebody that was being stupid. You must go. <laughs> Get on out of here. Get the fuck here, out uh, of here's here. a map of I do, I <laughs> roll, I drew random stars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I drew some star here's for a me. Star, you might find oh, out. Oh, no, here's a fuck, here's one apple. <laughs> <laughs> and you can get on so out. Leave him to die, <laughs> Alex. Uh, this is stupid. It feels like the the episodes for this series um, are completely written and directed by people who didn't have the scripts to the previous ones because nothing makes sense. Like he hands him a star map, you. You know, and he's like, no, it burned <laughs> off. In one of the episodes, he's like, it burned up. I don't know what it is. And it's not like we fucking have a, a yeah. Google Drive where I can pull the stars, you know, back out. And so it's like, wait a minute. You said that they were gone. And then it's like, wait a minute. The Harfoots have been trying to kill these other Harfoots. It's like, let's abandon, let's sabotage their wheels and let's leave them behind. <laughs> so all of the things that are happening in these episodes are contradicting thing, or b- contradicting or contradicted by things that happened previously. And and as much as I think that Duran is killing it and like the Duran the third and Duran the fourth are doing really well. I still think that that storyline is dog shit garbage as far as lore wow. goes. I hate it. Yeah. The whole magic rock. So, so just so you know, there are no simultaneous Durins. There's only ever one Durin. That name is given because, you know, it's, it's, a, it's an honor thing that you're so much like the previous Durin that you will also have the name yeah. Durin. And even some of the spirits of the older Durin are said to kind of dwell. So there was never the father and the son situation like this. Yeah, I don't... I, I, I'm less concerned about the naming thing and more it's like the, there's this magical MacGuffin rock that comes from a shaky piece of lore that doesn't exist. That, two Durin. That, that, you know, a Balrog is sleeping at the bottom woken up by a leaf somehow. And it's no stop, longer... Stop! Stop there! And stop! Then, I have a what?! Is the fuck? It was already weak. A Balrog <laughs> in this episode. Let me get this straight. A Balrog in the episode woke up because somebody threw a leaf. Literally, and a leaf serious landed. business. Do you know how long the Balrogs have been asleep? Do you know the, uh, the it's it is no, so it lazy. It's like Amazon. Please keep watching. Please keep watching because there's gonna be a Balrog in the last one or maybe in the next season because we can't even give that to you because a leaf fell into his fucking. Oh my god! They build up to that was so shitty. These things it should be thousands of years and then these things awaken and later a thousand. By of the years way, later. this yeah this does the ba- Balrog in lore does not waken right now. No, Durin's no. bane is uh, is awake way way later, and it's also important because the reason that he's woken up is through the greed of the dwarves, and this is not the greed of the dwarves. This is them trying to save the elves, so they're shitting on things that come later. This is a fucking leaf yeah. falling. Next yeah, so it's like it's, it's even supposed worse to be, than that. Yeah, so it's like their greed is what woke up this great evil and destroyed <laughs> the whole thing, and it makes sense. It's yeah. like it's the, that's what the fall of their empire, not yeah. them being selfless people trying to save people that they don't like. Dwarves do not like elves, and so it's like fine, we will save your people's lives even though we don't fucking like you really. And uh, it just, it's, it's, it's so frustrating. And so it's like even the best part of the show has a shit stain on it for me. And I, I, as much as I love their acting, it's like I think back and it's like, yeah, but it's the setting that, w- that it takes place and really bothers me. Mm-hmm. So I don't think this is good fantasy. I don't like at the beginning. I was like, I can understand how people would like this as generic fantasy. I don't see that anymore. I think if your eyes are open yeah. and you are paying attention to the way that things are being delivered yeah. and written, I mean... You the queen says, say don't tell anyone I'm fucking blind. In the next scene, <laughs> some random... Bron- Bronwyn's not the leader of the village. She's not the king. She's just some random woman. She's like, you're blind now. <laughs> and it's just... That is the level of writing that they've been giving you this this entire time. So I no longer... Mm. Uh, you know, if you're like, well, I still like it. I, I, I implore you, seek out better fantasy because it exists. And this shit is sad. <laughs> and this... <laughs> Someone, someone right now is peeing in a bottle or shitting in a bag so that Amazon can afford to make this show. And so... Because Amazon it. doesn't give breaks to their workers. Yeah. Just to give context to that. <laughs> uh, 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 your rating, sir. So I'm, I am going to give it a three. I was going to give it the four, the, the, the four for, for Durin, um, yeah. but um, mm-hmm. no. Okay. I, um, I, because you brought it up, I, I, can't, I have to mention this scene. Um, the Vest Numenorian, Ellen Dill, oh, yeah. uh, he, he has a scene. <laughs> Yeah, he turns away. <laughs> the queen goes. Like, the queen goes. Captain, <laughs> captain. 
We're coming back. <laughs> He's crying, but it made me home. burst out laughing because it's so poorly written, so poorly set up, so poorly directed, so poorly acted here. And that one... And this shows you, because he's one of the better actors in the yeah. show, and he has been doing a good job carrying some of the episodes. But when everything else around you is failing and you're just doing your job, you're like, are you, are you sure you want me to do this? Uh, okay. I, he's being poorly directed. It's the, the material he has is poor. It's It just shows you right there. And if you cannot recognize how ridiculous that scene in is and the bad writing examples that we just laid out for you, I have a fucking a smorgasbord here for in you. In the two towers, you watch Theo, Theo didn't wake up, right? He gets like unhypnotized and he see, he sees that they're crying with Gandalf at his son's grave. That is a great scene, an emotional scene. And it's not fucking funny. You don't burst out laughing and that's like that was written well and directed well. Yeah. And this is, they said they wrote this, they came up with a story for the whole series in one night and I believe that they just quit after that one night I don't uh, I've, I've started going through some interviews I haven't seen that one yet that makes sense yeah there's like no no we perfect it's like do you want to wow. do rewrites no uh wow oh cool so, one take yeah, <laughs> yeah. this sure, all this this mithril stuff is completely made up and you know healing the fucking leaf and all this stuff and and condensing the timeline and, and characters where there shouldn't be and and uh, the fucking Numenorian, the butchering of the Numenorians, they, they get their asses whooped by f 47 orcs uh, and, or a volcano exploding and they're like, let's let's go home. <laughs> so joking. Anyways, so I'm like, what is wrong here? What is wrong? Well, the I think it breaks down to well, I've ar we've already covered it. Just bad writers, bad planning, and hubris. Hubris. Sheer fucking hubris. You needed the Cimmerillion, the rights to the Cimmerillion, to tell a faithful story of the Second Age for Tolkien's work. And it was a fatal error at the very beginning that Amazon decided not to get the rights to the Cimmerillion. And I'm not sure why. Why? Well, I, I did read some interviews. We had this story, and we think we could do it justice in the Second Age. We have this idea, and we don't need those. We just need the ones that they have the rights yeah, the, to. Yeah. So now, lower people, initially, lower people was like, well, it's because they don't have the rights to that. And then it's like, okay, now it's like they're doing their own thing, but even that stuff is garbage. So what I'm about to say was back then, when they were, when they were like, hey, they don't have the rights to it. Well, here, here's what they have the rights to. We have the right solely to the Fellowship of the Ring, the Two Towers, the Return of the King, the Appendices. This is where a lot of these are coming from, the Appendices. This is what this series is based on. And The Hobbit. That's it. They do not have the rights to the Cimmerillion and the Unfinished Tales and the History of Middle-earth or any of the other extra books. But they needed those in order to fill in all of the stuff that they're making up right now. And the stuff they're making up right now is shitty. And then they also decided to condense yeah. the storyline and make it shitty. And having missing characters here and there. They are literally bringing shit up in the last minute. Galadriel, who's had sexual tension with Halbrand, will they, won't they, finally remembers that oh, she has a husband. But he was, uh, he's, he's MIA. But she thinks that he died in battle, which bullshit all this crap uh and then uh you know, and then the numenorians are like isolationists and they show them as shitty and then they're not the navigators and superhumans and have colonies everywhere on middle earth and not, not fucking badasses in the series they're isolationists now all of a sudden this is like literally the first time i've heard about a new i'm gonna go to a, the numenorian colony it's like, wait, what? Didn't you say that you didn't have colonies? I don't know. I'm not going to fucking rewatch the six hours to look for that. But they're breaking... The, what I'm saying is they're breaking Tolkien's lore, and now they're even breaking their own shitty made-up lore that they made up themselves. They're fucking it up. So when someone gives you a bunch of like tortillas with like ketchup and, and hot dogs in it, and they're like, oh, it's lasagna. It's like, this is lasagna. Well, I didn't have the ingredients, but I decided to make it anyway. It's like, you still blame no. them because they didn't have the ingredients to make the show work, but they chose to do it anyway. And so you is don't get a Patrick softer McKay? score. I'm going I'm going to blame Patrick. So I played Patrick in Blood Bowl just, just recently. Uh, the series, Patrick McKay, <laughs> which is all, it sounds like Patrick's name. I'm going to yell at Patrick. McKay added, there's a version of everything we need for Second Age in the books that we have the rights to. 
You see, he's like stretching. He's like, there's the version. We don't have that stuff. That's the stuff we need. But there's a version of that that we can get from this, even though this does not have what they need. They say that. There's a version of everything we need for the second age in the books we have the rights to. We have it at home. As long as we're painting within those lines and not egregiously contradicting something we don't have the rights to, which, by the way, you just fucking did. You have been doing. There's a lot of leeway and room to dramatize and tell some of the best stories that Tolkien ever came up with. Where? fucking bullshit and to fucking lie to people like that before the series came out because this is before the series came out this is a bold-faced lie and has been proven wrong on by them by themselves this is just it i mean tolkien created such an expansive world and complete with fucking many languages Many fucking histories, so many characters. The Lord of the Rings trilogy, there's like 15 good characters. Here, who's your favorite character, Joe? And do not say Durin, and do not say Elrond. Feminine. <laughs> no, just the, 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 the dweller? I looked yeah, up her name. The the dweller. Dweller. She lit the Harfoots on fire and like did some cool shit, and I'm, I'm down. It's like let's a go. Ghost. Let's, let's root for the bad guy. Oh, ninja. She's got ninja powers yeah. and shit. Let's go. <laughs> Oh, my God. Anyways. None. Honestly, none. Right. I mean, okay, so let's look at our storylines. We have the Harfoots. I fucking hate all of the Harfoots. Let's look at the fucking Galadriel. I fucking hate Galadriel. They've made Gil Galahad a moron. So remember when I thought that, oh, this is just a deception. The, the mithril is a deception. Sauron's just trying to get mithril or something. It doesn't really wrap the, the elves in light. Because in the lore... The elves are never supposed to lose their light. That was the whole fucking thing. That was the gift given to the elves. We get the gift of dying, mortality. They get the gift of the light never leaving. But now they need mithril to keep their light, to bandage the light yeah, up. Rub it on <laughs> rub it up. <laughs> Spray with perfume <laughs> mithril or something. They need the light. I lost my point. I was so angry. Uh, what am I? Well, Gil Galahad. And then he says, so I, so, so if Gil Galahad, well, it, he wasn't actually Sauron in disguise or being whispered into his ear by Sauron, then he's a motherfucking idiot because he was like, there is no evil here. Go away, all of our best troops, you know, and, and everything's fine. Oh, shit, there's evil here. <laughs> what the fuck? Now we need all the mithril. Go get it, please. Blah. Gil Galad in the books is amazing. Gil Galad here is an idiot. The Numenorians in the And now the Numenorians, <laughs> uh, what's this guy? The guy's name, the fucking captain. What? Elizabeth? The king of the faithful. Oh, no, he's not faithful. He's not. He's unfaithful. The, in, in this, <laughs> in this episode, ahead. he's very much. What's his un- name? Alendio. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. He lost faith immediately. Alendil, <laughs> the king of the faithful, he loses lost his, his faith. He lost and his son. He's crying like a little bitch. Alendil Vital, who's actually very <laughs> short. Uh, and he's the king of the faithful, not very faithful at all. It's like, who, who is this guy? So. And everybody, I, I, everybody's walking around with the man boob armor. I'm so tired of seeing the, the fucking Numenorians. You know, Games Workshop actually made Numenorian models, and their armor is fucking badass. This armor is stupid. Do, 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 are you noticing the cloth there? They have printed armor on cloth in between the armor pierces. This billion-dollar show has... L- what is that? Ne- lycra? It has motherfucking lycra that we buy from China. The motherfucking Joe Spider-Man outfit is made from the same material that some they of the costumes are. They are costume, And they have right? man boobs. The men have moobs. <laughs> Why do the men have moobs? Did you know there's three different types of boobs on the fucking armor? There's the female boobs, there's the moobs, and then there's a random other type of peck boob. I'm like, I'm staring at the Numenorean armor like, what in is complete this? disgust. And the costume designer is completely incompetent. It makes them look stupid. They look like fucking Rohan riders. The Numenorians never used horses in combat in the lore. 
They never. They're fucking eight feet, nine feet tall. They crush the horses. They love the horses. Roller they skates. call. They they treat the horses with massive respect, but they didn't ride them into battle. But here, they're just Rohan. They're white Rohan is what they are. It's fucking stupid. With a few Gondorian helmets that are dumber than... Uh, anyways, it just makes me so mad to think about... Not the Gondor helmets that are made out of Mithril, though, because those can't exist. Even though they <laughs> right. are made out of Mithril. Uh, yeah. No, they're going to be made uh, now. And then handed down. All right. Mm. I have so much to yell about. Oh, I'm not even halfway done. Oh. So, so if you look here, I have more stuff in the last episode that made me mad that I didn't get to talk uh. about. So now I'm going to talk about it. So if you think about how Mordor just you know was created, and you have that explosion from the volcano, yeah, Mount Doom, it takes away from Sauron. Sauron is this big baddie, but now you're taking away from it. You think it's that is- Adar that that created these lands? This series takes a, the, takes place over the course of thirty years. He hasn't even made the Ring of Power, which means he, <clears throat> instead of being in charge with the One Ring for two thousand years, he'll be yeah. in charge for fifteen twenty yeah. years. Right. Taking away a thousand years of tyrannical rule against of the most Sauron. powerful badass. I don't give a fuck about a mountain. He's that's a blink smoke. in history now. Yeah, he's it's like he's a piece of shit. He's gonna Sauron show up. Sucks. He's not like the big world bad guy that exists. He's like, yeah, this guy was around for like ten years. He was kind of a dick, so we cut his finger yeah. off. Even then, more, it even takes away from Morgoth, the guy that came before Sauron, because it's like he didn't know what to do. So it, it was Adar that figured all this shit out. Adar figured out that the fucking elves have a random machine that does fucking nothing except for pour water for no reason into a valley for no reason. I like that. Character. Why did they elves? You're telling me elf architecture is so shitty that you just. Cut a rope and the entire thing comes down. The elves built that. Why did the elves build a keyhole for a Morgoth blade? A motherfucking, and then you twist the blade and it opens a dam? Why did it? That makes no sense. I don't think they, they said it was built by them. I think it was originally it, a Morgoth fortress and then the elves oh, took in it this over. Show, it's and a then, the, then, then the elves took it over as the watch keep. But you know, yes. I think that's what they are saying. Yeah. Like, that's what I was, you know, it's like this magical fucking blood saber made of smoke and flame created well, by Sauron. You could just Sauron. take a shovel. A shovel would break uh, open the dam eventually. <clears throat> One With troll. a map on it to the Southlands is a physical key to a fucking dam that would open the floodgates, <laughs> allowing you to blow up a mountain. But he had only to, provided he had you to have take, to dig a hole yeah, first. Yeah, yeah, you have to tunnel. have a little orc slip and slide. Yeah, the tunnel <laughs> the way. That, it just doesn't make sense. Um, <laughs> Sauron does not know how to forge the rings. No, he's stupid. Is that what he was working on? We talked a little bit about that in the last, last episode. Yeah, yeah. He, yeah. He's, he's big he stupid. He it. wasn't twisting the elves into the fucking orcs, right? Because, it, it, that was you know, him, yeah. at least that, hap- that happened with Morgoth. He, with here, with Adar, no, with Hadar, no, here, he was twisting elves into orcs. But then... I also believe, working on the rings. I don't believe. I don't believe they said. I, I think, guess Sauron did it too. Yeah. So I think Sauron was trying to make the rings and he couldn't fucking figure it out, which doesn't make any sense. And then he's like, he couldn't figure it out. And then uh, eventually, Adar killed him. And I just, uh, you know, you remember when the Numenorians charged out with their horses from the ships? It, it reminds me of that one scene. Now we ride. And then they're like, <laughs> <laughs> you remember? Did you ever see Rango? Rango, they're riding, and then he's like, where, where are we riding? <laughs> we ride. We just ride. <laughs> they don't know where they're going, Joe. They just ride. <laughs> oh, my God. They made uh, sense. They Galadriel the is talking. Time. In the last episode, Galadriel is talking about humility. Remember on the boat when he throws the apple, when he could have given the apple to the fucking horse? He's a piece of shit. That's why that horse escaped. He wanted that apple. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, oh, I'm getting that fucking apple. <laughs> you don't want to get that fucking apple. But Galadriel walks up to him. Why are you uh, so mopey? Uh, this and that. He's like, well, you need to have humility. That's what you need. Galadriel. But there's a tempest within me. Galadriel, the least humble person in all of Middle-earth. The most arrogant and prideful person in the show. This show's character with, who we thought would go on an arc, right? But doesn't because this level of writing, like one scene, she's like, you need to have humility. And the next scene, she's like, genocidal, tyrannical. All right. <clears throat> Why does, uh, we already talked about this last episode. Why does uh, Mariel, the queen, need to come at all? Because? She's it's just a small strike force. The leader of an entire civilization needs to go with them. 
N- Numenor is this big. Apparently, there's only like two, three hundred of them, and they only have five ships. <clears throat> this would make horrible. a cool scene. What person is like, this is great writing, Joe. I don't know what you're talking about. This is great fucking world building. The world building here is great. The queen goes with an army of 37 soldiers. The, the whole scale is off. They, the Harfoots are devastated that five fucking apple trees were lit on fire. <laughs> only five. And they're like, we're going to die. It's like, there was only five apple trees lit on fire. So the scale of everything is off. They, if, if they had gone <laughs> way up and showed that everything was like t- scorched, it would have been fine. But They don't have that kind of money, Alex. Yeah. And they said that they will, <laughs> they will always pay respect to Tolkien's lore. Well, they missed a moment where uh, Isildur actually sets foot in what would be his kingdom. Right, and they just completely walk past that. You never get that scene, so you, it would be cool for him to get off the boat and be like, "Oh no, he." They do give him the scene. He goes, "I like mountains," <laughs> but I guess they're gonna give him the scene here after the horse finds him. That was the mo- that was, What are we doing? It turned into the Mr. Ed show. What? What is this? What's the horse's name? Mr. Ed. Bar- Baroque or Barrick. something? Barrack. He's like, no. Beric, it's time to go home. And Beric's like, no, I don't want to. Like, well, he knows. Go home. He's time to go home. And he's like, he won't listen to you. He won't listen to anyone. <laughs> Beric is his own character. And so then they set him free and he runs off after he's gonna go find him. He's going to go find his Sildur. No, his Sildur's dead, Joe. They would have just eaten the horse. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyways. <clears throat> Then at the very end, we can't forget uh, Halbrand uh, with Brand. a fucking open ass wound. He's like, "We must ride." <laughs> <laughs> he needs elvish medicine. It's like we're gonna take a three month. Oh my trip. god, he's gonna die! It's he's such a horse. He's like, horse oh. squirting out blood. Oh. Every time he's just like squirting off into the thing. <laughs> Middle, like, you realize how far? Is how it? far? How this far motherfucker has. It? It's it's like half. It's more of mil- Middle Earth, it's Joe. More, it's, it's, it's gonna be months of his riding and blood <laughs> gushing out. He needs elven medicine. <laughs> now. That guy's about to die. <laughs> you know that, right? That's the teleporting all over the place. They, because do you know Tolkien was so obsessed that he would create the maps first and then the wars and battles and locations and characters and stuff because he wanted stuff to make sense. To feel real, to feel lived in, none of that is a st- is here. But Tolkien never played Witcher three, and once you unlock fast travel, uh, it makes things easier True. and better. So <laughs> I mean, that's his loss. So yeah. I mean, fuck. I just guy. I thought they were. Uh, I, it just makes me mad. It's sheer fucking hubris to think that they can come up with a better story than a man who dedicated his entire fucking life. To his lore and to this world and to creating it, but no, uh, now we've made shitty fan fiction and it's fucking better than Tolkien. And if you don't like it, then you don't know good writing, I guess. Mm. All right, well, uh, <clears throat> so four, four three, three, three. Let's go now into the episode breakdown and. Uh, so, uh, oh. where, how, oh, how does it start? Oh, it's great. So she, wa- she wakes up and she's covered in uh, baby powder. Yes. <laughs> and uh, the first thing that she does is instead of help anyone in the city, and as she's walking away, a dude who is on fire is just going like, someone help me. <laughs> and she just fucking walks away. And that, that is exactly what happened. And when I, when I went back to check the, the end of the thing, I, I rewatched it. She's like, she's walking away from a dude crawling away on fire. It's shown that she's walking away. And, and the dude's on fire. And then she finds mm. fucking Theo, and they <laughs> separate from ev- everyone's in the city. And she and Theo go off their own little fucking adventure for no fucking reason. She doesn't and, help anybody. And then everyone is like helping each other. The queen is blinded. Like, even the queen is blinded trying to By save help. children. Glad and then, and glad you're just like, I'm going to walk on the floor. Like, I like this Theo kid. I fucking hate. She's irredeemable. I'm sorry. She's just irredeemable. Even with the, I need it to touch darkness, you know, and I'm part dark. You know, yeah. it's not working. And this is, this is my look. Like, every fucking scene, she talks like this. Keep the sword. We'll make a soldier out of you yet. Let me go and embarrass the entire Numenorean army by smacking them with on the butt with the swords and teaching them how to stab. Oh, thank you for teaching us how to thrust and turn as if the Numenorians didn't know that because they needed the girl boss moment. And I don't fucking talk like this. I don't. But this is, this is what this series has driven me to because it is so apparent. It is so 
poor. It is so in your face. It is ridiculous. They fucked up her character and they don't realize it. They fucked up the Harfoots and they don't feel realize it. They push Bronwyn to the front for no fucking reason. And our Aaron Deer, he's he's I like, just I like he's he's okay. He's like a less yeah. likable Legolas right now. Maybe he can go somewhere, but they're just not giving him enough. He's fighting. He's getting orc blood in his mouth. That, that's the most that he's been juice doing. Too, yeah. Eye juices, oh. rather. Yeah, it was, it was very gross. gross. Uh, and, and then we have Durin and, and uh, uh, Elrond. And then we have the rest, of the, which are, can, I can also go on forever. But anyway, everybody dies except for the main character. Except for no one dies. How, uh, yeah, except for no one dies. absolutely no one dies because at the end of the episode, everyone is alive. Nobody God. thinks Isildur dies. Not lore people. We're <laughs> You think your audience is stupid, right? Not even fucking generic people who have no idea about the lore. They're like, <laughs> you think I'm stupid, don't you? I, can't, I am kind of stupid is what they would say. This but guy yeah. gets too much camera time. He, he's alive. <clears throat> then Let's we, move on. And then we switch to the Harfoot. But now we know that she's single. She's like, I'm married, but he's gone. So I'm ready. Like, she's just, that's how we're going to set up, you know, that, oh, I was, it's not cheating because I was on a break when she eventually. What the fuck are you talking Galadriel's about? Galadriel's going to fuck Harbrand. <laughs> she just jumped fuck way the fuck over here, but you're right. No, that that's, is... the, that's that scene. She's like, my husband is gone. I'm married. Her no, Her we're deal. not there yet, goddammit. But yes, so let's talk about that uh, when we get there. Okay, go ahead and right now. She walks away with Theo for some fucking reason, and she goes, like, yeah. Because they my... have to have the, that the slow down the pace of the show and really develop Galadriel's. Fucking characters. Yeah. Slow down the pace. This is already Theo. snail's pace. <laughs> yeah, and Theo's like, has anyone you know ever died? And she's like, yeah, only one brother. And it's like, but what about all the other ones? And then like the rest of your family. Nope, only one brother ever died. And I had this By husband. By the way, I have a husband. <laughs> I have a husband, but I haven't seen him in, you know, a thousand years uh, or something. She's, she's like so fucking, like a husband, you know, becomes your family, right? And you would think that she would be as aggressive as... We must find, I need to find out what happened to my husband as she is about, I'm going to find uh, find the killer to she my fucking brother's him. death and I will rip apart the entire Elvish kingdom, for everyone I will destroy and commit genocide for. But my husband, nah, fuck that guy. He's, He's a not very good. He's not good in bad, I guess. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> uh, so we go to the Harfoots, Joe. And they're like, Oh, the volcano landed. Some pieces landed here. I've heard about this before. They only awaken when a new evil is rising. Then they dun, look dun, <laughs> and everybody looks. And the camera cuts to the stranger. It's Sauron! You, you, my, our dumb audience believe it's Sauron! And, and then they're like, uh, another stupid Harfoot scene of them throwing themselves in the middle of danger, right? He's, they're like, hey, can you like fix this random tree in the middle of fucking Middle Earth that we're just walking by. Uh, it's like, we, need- we know we hate you, but can you help us again and again and, and again, again yeah. even though we try to kick you out of the fucking <laughs> crew? So, so then he's trying to repair the tree, and of course there would be some shaking and it's splitting and because it's fucking magic and it's going into the, the world, but they don't know that. And the little girl's like, oh, what are you doing? That branch snaps, hits the little girl, and they're like, oh my god! <laughs> Why isn't your magic have a shorter radius of of safety? Or I don't know. Drop the stick, get the kick. He's and evil, evil, and even Nori again. Ooh. It's like how many times do we need to do this? It is so <laughs> stupid. Only they one never more learn. episode's worth. They, they never, never learn. learn. <laughs> they never learn. Uh, and then. Uh, then we go to <clears throat> the the good writing team because this is the good writing team, uh, the Durin and the elves. Uh, you know, Elrond is like literally, hey man, help us out, dude. He gives an impassioned speech, mm-hmm. gets on his knees in front of the king. He's like, help us out. I must talk with my son. The other dwarven lords are like, hey, that well, sounds like a good deal to me. I don't see a problem it's with five it. Centuries, five centuries. Five centuries worth of wood <laughs> and the kingdom doesn't have a whole lot of it. That's a pretty yeah. good deal. And then, and then he's like, no. No. I won't help the elves cheat death. If they should die, then they should die. So I guess if his kingdom is under threat, he's, nope. Withdraw the soldiers. We are meant to die. It is our time is this shite. Uh, 
Uh, so they won't risk dwarven lives. Now, they didn't set it up right. It would be make money. Remember how we're like, why don't you fucking dig? You're the fucking dwarves, dwarves, dig. They'll be the best one at harvesting this shit, right? And it seemed like because three people got trapped in a mine during the live. king is that all live is like, no, fuck this, right? But the way to set that up and to make it make sense is to tie it in with what you show later on here that I will not do it because there are Balrogs on the other side of this paper mache wall <laughs> the paper thin wall that you just cut through and then it'll burst through and ruin our whole kingdom then i would you know it's a little but you don't really get that yet it's more i will not risk people mining and shit because we don't know how to mine elrond is told no and this was a great scene because obviously the dad tells his son no and his son is begging god just you could see it in his eyes the durin and, and his beard, and I just love the way he talks. Like, get this right. Like, this is so, and the emotions there. He's screaming at his dad, his dad. And you could tell, and even, I even like his dad. His dad's a piece of shit, and I like him. Because he loves his son, you know? But then he, but then he's a, just an old, crudgy motherfucker, <laughs> you know? And he's like, when you were born, your naked face. I'm like, that's a weird thing to say. I'm like, no, it's not. It's, it's a dwarf. Face is naked. They're all no supposed beard. to have fucking beards. Joe got it. Joe, you got a naked face at all times. So you can. So one day you're gonna move mountains, Joe. One day you're gonna Sweet. move mountains. He's like, how can I move mountains? If you you freak out every time, I, I don't know, do anything. I dig a hole, you freak out. And it turns right, man. Get this man some respect, father. Fuck you, dad. <laughs> um. And so yeah, it's a great scene. He fucking rips his son. Fucking crown off, leave it. It's not yours anymore. I'm like, damn, man, cold blooded, dude. Yep. And then his wife, dude, I love her. She's she's just quickly. She saw and confirmed. Grip. She's evil now. <laughs> <laughs> the kingdom is mine. The kingdom is mine, and your dad's gonna die soon, and we're gonna no, like, fuck no, your no. brother. And it's I gonna be love her. Yeah. She's like, the kingdom is ours. We'll rule this. You're gonna rule this thing. You know, king queen. Let's do this shit. Let's mine this shit ourselves. Your your the dad elves, is an idiot. But the elves are gonna be way dead <clears> by that time. Because they need it like now. And it have... seems like that. I didn't know. You told me earlier that they need it in three months. I'm like, I don't remember them actually. They need to get the, they need to get started by spring, and unless the king is like oh, on the death's spring door. thing was Celebrimbor saying, I want to make the rings by spring, not like we all die. Well, though that's what the forge is for. Spring. The forge is to do make the things for use I know, all the but I, I just thought there were maybe more leeway time. You just get this done, and then we we'll yeah, do but this, the, and then the father's not dying. dying. No, no. The father's not dying or anything. He's like he's just old, and so unless he dies real quick. <laughs> The elves are dead. No, I'm I'm saying the elves have some time even after spring. They're not going to fit in. I'm not saying they die away. immediately in spring, but right. like unless the king plans on dying right fucking now, like he, him mining it later doesn't do anything to save the elves. Right. Okay. So then we get um, it's your fault. Uh, uh, says um, Theo. No, no. He says it's my fault. Yeah. Theo, and she's like, no, it's not your fault. It's mine. It's like, it's not your fault. It's not like you handed it to them. It's like, oh, you did? Oh, yeah. shit. It is. It is your fault. It is your fault. It is your fault because you can't tell the fucking difference between a goddamn axe hilt and a fucking sword hilt, commander of the northern armies, a thousand-year-old soldier. They, they even changed the lore to make her more of a soldier, and she can't fucking tell the difference between a fucking axe and a sword. What a moron. As she gives it to Aaron Deer, who then gives it to fucking the Deal. one person who is showing withdrawal symptoms. My precious! <laughs> it, it makes no sense. <laughs> you know? Oh, wow. it's, it's like when you, you, your kids are eating too much candy, and you're like, here's a big fucking Halloween bucket of candy. Make sure you don't eat any of it. Have some self control. What? what is that? That older guy? Diabetes. <laughs> Diabetes. <laughs> Diabetes. Um, the man boobs armor. <laughs> oh, I, I wrote like it I in my look, notes. Look, look, even <laughs> Amazon cannot afford man GW stuff. So overseas like, people leaving. And he's, son? No, no. It's just the horse. Um, who is its own character? Yes. Um, she. And here's the thing is it, it's so annoying that she doesn't practice what she preaches with Leo, Theo. And that's why all of the words that come out of her mouth 
are disingenuous. You yes. don't feel them. You're like hollow. You're like you're a hypocrite. Now, if you had set it up properly, I understand what they're doing is she's starting to realize that she is turning evil and she needs to follow her own advice and all this. It's just it not. Someone it blows smoke in her face and all of a sudden, oh, I shouldn't be a piece of <clears> shit <throat> for several thousand years. Yeah. And then the queen's <laughs> vision is messed up. And it's a secret that will affect her position at home to far, Farzan, maybe. And you see one of that, so the lieutenant is like, you know, oh, no, he might reveal the secret later on in future episodes by under duress to Farzan. And everybody keep it a secret. And then the next fucking scene, there's a goddamn blindfold, or I'm sorry, a bandana that yeah. slid down her to her head because it makes no sense otherwise. So then she's Your like, please, tired. don't bring attention to it. And they're like, okay. <laughs> no, please. <laughs> The Harfoots make um, the stranger go away because they're terrible people and they hate them. Yeah. Uh, but then, just then, the tree grows a new life out of sight. Mm-hmm. So he uh, goes to... F- what is the stranger doing, Joe? Helping the Harfoots. What is the stranger doing? What's the story of the stranger? He's looking for the stars. What the fuck is this plot? <laughs> I'm going to go find the stars. So the guy <laughs> writes down some stars on a fucking... He just made you some red man. Hey, I found this. Get some a doodle. Go find your stars. Get the fuck out of here. The fuck out of here. I hate the Harfoots. If it was just a stranger off on his own and we never see the Harfoots again, I'm like, yes, I will. let's do that plot. But no, it's not what's going to happen. Um, <clears throat> so, so this is the first time she mentions her s- husband. She thinks he's dead as she en- engages in a staring contest. <laughs> you ever notice that every... S- I can't unsee it, Joe. Every yeah. fucking scene up until this point... Right, and somebody did a super cut. She is literally in a staring contest with every fucking thing. Everything. The director was like, "This is how <laughs> elves act," and it was a Forget terrible, him. terrible idea for a character you're supposed to relate with. She barely moves her face, and I guess they set up, "Oh, my husband's dead," so that they can have that that sexual tension with Halbrand without the audience fucking hating but her But she still it. has to have a baby that Elrond can have sex with. Without having an audience that hates her. But the audience already hates her. It's too late. Mm-hmm. And what the fuck did you just say? What? What did you just say? She still has to have a baby with him. With who? With, with her husband so right. that Elrond can marry that baby. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I forgot about that. <laughs> that just sounds so fucking weird. Oh, I and said it the, the most this time frame, <laughs> So they're not doing that, Alex, because in this time frame, everybody would hate Elrond. So, so that means that Aragon doesn't get to marry Arwen because that's where she comes from. Who do you think her mom is? Okay, so they are going to do it eventually, but then they'll do it a thousand years when the show is not doing... The show. A thousand or, years or so, after after a sealed or there's a thousand years between. <clears throat> well, I mean, they can still do their thing and, and then, then how Bran can die and all these other people can die because they don't matter. Anyways, I, I guess. Um, too much. Too much. <laughs> so I think um, flashing light in the scene, lighting air. That was probably just my TV. Um, Theo thinks it's his fault, but it's hers. Uh, so orcs, uh, you know, they... That, you know, we we question their smell in the past. We think they have a shitty smell, but this one I'll buy because there's fucking ash everywhere. All they smell is ash, so they barely miss them. And they are being a dumbass trying to fight them. They're like, seriously, <laughs> what the fair. fuck are you gonna this do? Fourteen year old, you don't like, even Cheek! know how many there are. No! Like, Shake is like, wait, I hear something. Like, it's melodrama. Stop it. Do you know stop what being, melodrama is? Stop Look being an idiot. <laughs> Look it up, Chad. And then see if you think that this show is melodrama. You didn't need that. You'd be like, orcs, hide. The tension would still be there instead of, yeah. I will fight them. I was like, no, Perfect. no, you're no, not. No, you're not that character. No, you shut you're the not. fuck exactly. up. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you think you need to be that character? Because we're in writing and they are, they're amateurs. All you, need, uh, all you need to just have them do is hide. <laughs> it's like, oh, I smell something. It's like, oh, are they going to smell them? It's there. Yeah, and then they the don't. The tension is there. It's there. But no. I smiled and laughed during the Elrond and um, during the scene where he admits that uh, he kind of gave up on purpose because he only really wanted an audience with him. He's like, you son of a bitch. You're likable characters. You're fucking likable. Give me the fucking water. Bro. Bro. 
bro, I love these bros, man. And they're brothers from other mothers. Makes me want to cry. It's like, you're the most motherfucking elf dwarf. And you're the most fucking dwarf elf. You know, I was like, man, this show, this works. Just give me this. Anyways, they find more mithril than they thought. uh, And the king dwarf is behind him. How dare you? You know, shut up. He throws out Elrond, um, and you know, and then it, this is just—I mean, this is just no longer canon at this point. Anything. I don't understand the point of like, you know, Lord of the Rings. If you're not going to stick to the canon, they're just running in this direction with their own mithril wraps uh, for no reason. I, I guess actually for one reason: sheer fucking hubris. Anyways. Uh, and then we get that great father scene. You know, that was a good one. We've already talked about that. And for some reason, I also felt like it's very Dragon Age. You know, really good game. It just reminds me of good games and stuff. You know, since this isn't really Tolkien, it's like kind of generic this fantasy. If I can compare it to something else, that scene bro, like reminds me of Dragon Age. I just love the dwarves. And, and they got everything right. They didn't fuck their armor up. They didn't fuck their house up. Well, they didn't make the half designs. of them sexy. They didn't make half of them fucking like right. walking cartoons. They don't have man boobs. Like that fucking awful trilogy. Moobs. Goddamn trilogy. Yeah. But Thorin, though. I, 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 like I need to rewatch the. <laughs> I would rather watch the fucking Hobbit, Hobbit. trilogy, Alex. Oh. Don't you fucking say you would rather watch oh, that. I just like, I'm a grown person. I can be like, I don't want to watch that. No. Uh, okay. You just be like, no, I'm not That's watching any of that shit. Uh, it's like, would you rather? It's like, no, I don't have to because hypotheticals are stupid and I'm leaving. <laughs> Harfoots wake up to the fixed trees. What? They feast. And there's more singing. If this fucking female Samwise sings one more goddamn time, ruining an awesome epic moment with the Durin and his father, I'm going to die. It's so awful. How no- do you go... Editing that together, how would you be like, this is the next scene that we're going to go to? <laughs> that was the f- was worst fucking choice. Jump. It just makes you feel like they're two different episodes. Yeah, you're like, oh, they're man. You're like, oh, that was that amazing. Was amazing. What, what the oh, oh, fuck? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> What's that? It's like, you guys smell popcorn? <laughs> oh, the, the Will thing? Uh. Uh. Like, oh, that's awful. <laughs> oh, he farts in the car. Yeah. Uh, Will farts in the car, locks the windows, and goes, hey, do you guys smell popcorn? And everyone goes, oh, what the pop- fuck? Oh, fuck. <laughs> that ain't popcorn. Yeah. And, but, and then, so they're like, wow, this is all fixed, and no one thinks to go after the stranger. They're like, oh, fuck. Let's, um, let's immediately go at him. Uh, you know. And after they kick him out. So they're just him. all happy, and they're harvesting some water and apples, and then they run. she runs into Feminem, who's like, picks up the fucking, but what, what is, what is, what is, Yes. Yeah. Mm. Oh, she looks to her priest. What is this? <laughs> I think it holds water. <laughs> uh, so Nori tries to misdirect them because they go at night. It's a cool scene, and I, you know, and we now like these. These are our favorite characters, along with Adar, because as Nori tries to be like, he went that way because she does this thing where she's like. Oh, they know exactly the direction he went. She tries to misdirect. They disappear, and I was like, "That's a cool scene." The, the motherfuckers are magic <laughs> users, and then they, and then she picks it <laughs> just like we are. Like, take a motherfucking shower, bitch. <laughs> she tried to pull the chunk out of her hair. There's water, bodies of water everywhere. Dunk yourself in it's it. It's a cute flash. <laughs> so, I love the dweller. Is what this character is called. Feminem is now it, her official name. Yes, from Alex. Feminem. Great. All right, so now Feminem goes, uh, or no, yes. He's like, hey, you stay away from my daughter. I'll beat your brains in. <laughs> so you ain't going to do or shit. Or I'll brain you. <laughs> I like that, that, that saying. I'm going to brain you. You're going to teach me some things? Yeah, you need a fucking stepladder <laughs> and a big <laughs> hammer. So she fuck. I was like, God damn, man. The coolest motherfucking evil Sauron person in this show is fucking Feminem. Not even Adar did anything that cool. He goes, she goes, shh. And then she goes, <laughs> Everything lit on fire. Every one of us was jumping. It was very, it was very Mortal Kombat. Just very like Kiss of Death Sonya. Like, <laughs> it's like, yes. Best characters ever. Fuck Feminem, yeah. we're on your side. We're sorry for making fun of you. You're the best. Anyways, um, so what, what happens after that? that? The horse. 
<laughs> then it literally goes to the horse scene. So we have Barrack the Horse episode. We got to go home. I'm going to get that apple. No. <laughs> and he, they set him free. He runs away. Yeah. And then we have the, the fifth fake out scene. He goes to his tent. He thinks his mother's dead. Oh, there's a mother helping, but it's not his mother. And then she's behind him. Oh, what? There's a covered body. And then Aaron Deer's there. What? <laughs> Dad, mom, you're alive. <laughs> right. I think did they show his ears here? I don't think they showed his ears, yeah. so he could still Wait, technically. Oh, oh, Theo? No. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so he could still technically be an elf. I don't know because like when his head was resting in, I thought you could see a little bit, but I guess not. Anyways, <clears throat> then they show that blindfolded queen because we didn't want it to be obvious about her new condition, and I guess this is the best way. So Galadriel meets with the king and and motherfucking. Uh, Aaron Deer, which is the guy that I keep getting his name wrong. What's his name? Ellen Deal. Ellen Deal. Ellen Deal is like, it's Galadriel. Because <laughs> he's got to announce her coming because she can't see. Galadriel, he says, because he's so oh, fucking mad. Oh, you he hates her. He's so <laughs> fucking mad with the elves. I should have left her like in the, in the ocean. Fucking elves. <laughs> just fucking knifed ears, motherfuckers. I should have left them behind. And uh, I should leave this godforsaken place. We need to get out of here. And then he's running away. I guess the 300 guys he brought are, are, are I'm sorry, 100 guys now because they're all dead and they don't want to fight anymore orcs. They don't want to. They don't want to save the Southlands anymore. He lost faith. <laughs> the new noise. They don't know about any more orcs. We gotta right? go home. Because <laughs> one shitty battle, so. they turn tail and run. No, no, I'm joking. They, they, you know, they weren't. They were beaten. Weren't beaten by the orcs because she says, "I declare that the Numenorians shall return this time with four ships." <laughs> We'll be back, and we're going to bring four <laughs> ships. <laughs> and then you're going to be in trouble. Then the best scene. <laughs> I don't want Captain, to. get <laughs> Captain. my ship. <laughs> I want to go home. Captain. <laughs> Captain. <laughs> Captain. <laughs> it's like, what? what? That was so embarrassing. We get what he's supposed to be mourning, but we just don't it's, care. It just, did just, not it did work. Not. Anyone of you out there tell me that you <laughs> thought that scene was like, I cry every time. <laughs> I felt it every time. Bam, oh, Bambi, Bambi's mother dies, and they didn't do it for me. This, this did it for me. <laughs> um, then, then the queen grabs, grabs Gl- Gladriel's face and says, you know, we're... Save your pity, because we'll be back. For the week. <laughs> like Shanks. The, uh, the, we'll have four ships, and then Galadriel's like, the elves will also be ready. I'm going to go to convince them. And then, because no one told her, and she doesn't have a mouth when she walks through camp, she finds her, her boyfriend. Yeah. He's alive. Yeah. Cash, uh, um, but his uh, wounds turn sour. Mm-hmm. You know, like, do you think there's someone down there licking it? Just like, <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, no. Oh, it's gross. I, what's going on? Um, we need Elvin. Oh yes, but before uh, before we go and check out Halbrand, we go back to the Harfoots and the motherfucker. It's like they gotta give somebody a speech, so they give motherfucking Nori's father a speech, and he's like, "We may not be able to fight. We may not be able to uh, build things. We may not be <laughs> living. <laughs> we, we suck, but we can do one thing. Oh, We're the better than anybody." Any creature on Middle Earth, we can do it better. And I'm like, what <laughs> can you do better? And what can they do better, Alex? Uh, abandon people? Stay true to each other. Yes. Oh, oh yeah. They, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, we all screamed out, bullshit. Yo, leave your, yeah, you leave each <laughs> like, other in the heartbeat. They literally left. We saw you them just doing the, this cart yeah. by themselves. You just kicked the guy. Uh, a guy, the guy who you saved your ass. Yeah, yeah you dropped the, the shit. Get wolves. the fuck out. Complete bullshit. Gave you so much fucking food. <clears throat> Y'all fucked up. Yeah, so then they, uh, you know, we stay true to each other. Something they do better than any other is a complete and total bullshit. A complete failure of characterization and writing. Uh, but it's a, a great moment, uh, and then the and then even even the old grouchy bitch is like, yeah. Even though I wanted to kill you last episode, two episodes ago, I want to help you now. So let's go. 
So Nori leaves to go help uh, uh, her friend here off trail, the stranger, and then Samwise uh, uh, goes to help her, and then her mom says, not without her. I, I don't know why her mom is going, but then her mom doesn't go because it shows that Mal Malva is like, I admit that I'm wrong. I will go. And then the leader. Um, He's like, Malva, you are <clears throat> never wrong except for all of the times you've been every wrong, every episode you've been in. <laughs> Just once I'd like for you to not be right. And I'm like, but that's every single time. This is literally the only time she's right. This guy's evil. We need to sabotage him and murder these people. It's like, what the fuck? Shut but but that's I guess. But that's the joke, remember? Because he's a comedian, and it just didn't it didn't land. But that's supposed to be a joke. I think, I think so. I, I'm, I'm I, I would bet it's money. It's either incompetent writing, yes, or it is supposed to be a joke that did not land. Oh, I I, I would put money on writing. incompetent writing. Wow, like, that's even that's even a level. All this character did was betray the hearts of the Harfoots that you say are the best thing of the Harfoot and he's like man god damn it just for once I want you well, to Well this has been the be running right. thing of the with this show everyone contradicts themselves it, it so that's what it is. Joke. Well it also fits the pan. Well now they're going to say it is a joke. Yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah <laughs> Did, <all> right. <laughs> we got a sense of humor. These uh <sighs> me too I'm watching the show. Joke. Big joke. <clears throat> so uh, then we see a scene of the, these tiny ass Numenorian boats. They're they're literally you know five soldiers wide. They're and, like and, icebergs. And, 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 <laughs> they're tiny. They're icebergs. Yeah. Yeah. They're way bigger. Under, <laughs> if you look under. Oh, the. They're the uh, did you see that picture on fucking Reddit? Because I was like. There's eight horses that fit there. No, Joe. <laughs> yeah, it's a submarine. <laughs> but I got to find the picture. I'm going to be so mad if I can't find it. I probably won't put it up uh, here. Go look it. it up. The Numenorean ships on Reddit. <laughs> um, all of a sudden, uh, then she's like, I'm going to go to the Numenorean colony. I think Bron Bronwyn or something. And I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah. Just, Excuse me, what the fuck? It's just south of Gondor. Didn't you it's just like, say that they were isolationists what? and they don't? And didn't, it wasn't like Alfarazan say, Oh, but you do not know my clever plan. What we need to do is go to Middle Earth and 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 develop wood and things and and trade and things and. But if you already have colonies, then what are you talking about? Um, so <clears throat> all of us. So I will go to my king. What what about our king? Um, has no one informed you? Halbrand is dying. This grievous wound. It needs. Oh my God, it's so bad. It needs elvish medicine. So this is how they get how Sar how Sauron into the elves' ears as he is invited to Linden because you know uh, Galadriel's going to bring him there. So let's just write him in there. Uh, meanwhile, we have to travel three months longer than Frodo's journey. Three fucking movies, th nine hour film, <laughs> and they're gonna do it. I guarantee you, Joe. They're next, gonna. Next it's episode. gonna be next episode. It, see, it worked really well in the books where they're like, "This needs out. This is beyond my healing. I need Elvish medicine." And then Glorfindel like takes Frodo to Rivendell because it's like right fucking there. It's like yeah. a day away, <laughs> and they're it's like, "Oh, okay, it makes sense. You gotta get there real quick." And and this is like, dude, three fucking months. I don't think he would be able to like. He needs help. He can't ride on his own horse. <laughs> Nobody he's else. just like, oh, oh, he's oh, Nobody oh, else. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> he's just, you see him off in the distance, oh, like, man. galloping. You're like, that ain't, oh, that's not oh, good. Oh. <laughs> it's just like Robin Hood men in tights, Joe. Yeah, but I love hilarious. that movie. <laughs> Three months Same, <laughs> of Three that. Three months of riding. Oh, my God. He's I, not going to Just make so it. they can get him close to, I don't know, Celebrimbor or Gal Gal Galahad. I don't fucking know. But, um... Anyways, they they bow. They all bow to the Southland. King Except for Theo, who doesn't bow. When he comes walking, I didn't see that. Well, yeah, he just raises his sword. Yeah. yeah, he's supporting him. A, a liar, strength to the Southlands. What fucking Southlands? Again, I was like, shut up, Theo. <laughs> shut the fuck up, Theo. <laughs> and then Gl Gl Theo's like, hey, take my the sword, and she's like, no. She leaves it with him, and then she leaves like with Halbert. a soldier out of you yet. Shut up. <laughs> Strength uh, to the Southlands. Fucking catchphrases are fucking awful. It's like one front. It's like one writer in the writing room sniffing his farts all day long. King of what? The show never set up the Southlands. A fucking village. They they scream as the music swells and they ride out from the camp to immediately be killed by a roving warband of orcs. And then the show ended. Or he dies of his. And then we do the clue thing. 
or this happens, or he dies of grievous wound as he goes across past the entire continent of Middle Earth while bleeding out to get his elvish medicine. Uh, <clears throat> anyways, um, in the very end, they like it. I, fe- I, f- um, hmm? huh? What'd you say? Then the very end. Yeah. They're like, the Southlands, or we won't call it that no more. It's like, what are we going to call it? Oh, yeah, yeah. So, the, <laughs> so, so yeah, Adar's here, and he's like, uh, king of the Southlands, king of the... He's like, the Southlands are gone. They're destroyed. What do you want to call it, my lord? What the fuck is that in the distance? <laughs> <laughs> he looks up, and in the distance, a big fucking giant magical logo <laughs> is on it's, the top. The, the eagles are pulling a banner <laughs> in the sky, <laughs> it and is, it says the Southlands. <laughs> it is literally the only time they've done this in the whole show. They literally have, I just realized, they literally have a map that they show all the fucking time, right, with Patchy. They could have just had, you know, Mordor appear on the goddamn map that they're showing as it zooms out, but no, it's a fucking, you know... <laughs> It, it, Italy, France, 1984 <laughs> or something, and then it transfers into Mordor because uh, now is when they want to be lore accurate. They want to be linguistically accurate because the, el- the the orcs never refer to it as Mordor. Like, Mordor is an elvish thing that elves came up with first to, to, to describe that fucking land. So now is when they, like, the most, the least important thing. They want to be like, can't say it because in, I guess it's not really said unless it's spread around though it would still make sense because Adar is an elf and he could come up with it and they could still say that it was an elf whatever anyways to it now. <laughs> okay, they fucked it up um yeah they fucked it up and you can tell that the feminine will trick the uh the stranger in 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 nori's form and then her eyes go i will say the eyes look fucking cool i like i like the feminine? fucking white eyes just uh, white eyes in general on the character just looks evil and cool um. <clears throat> Anything else? More con. Oh, I, I, uh, uh, let's see where we're at. Because uh, yeah, that was one, at, one one hour ten minute. More contradictions. More flat, emotionless scenes with music attempted to do all the heavy lifting. More filthy, horrible Harfoots in this episode. More bastardization of Tolkien's work and lore. Though this is confirmation that the stranger is not Sauron. Correct, Alex. A stranger cannot be Sauron. Disa is Sauron. Who the fuck is Disa? Durin's wife. Why? Because she's like, we're going to go through the mountain. And it. Disa is fucking awesome. Yeah, I agree. But Sauron she's is awesome. She's not fucking Sauron. Sauron is this. awesome. Disa is awesome. Let's <laughs> fucking go. All right. But it, but it is needed somehow. My estimization is that he... Is going? Is this Radagast? Because Not supposed the to be. trees, right? He's talking to trees, whispering to trees. He shows up before. There's a little bit of leeway in the lore that Radagast could have come, you know, before. I think it could also be a blue wizard. Don't think they have the rights to the blue wizard. That's why I don't think it's the blue wizard. And what you said, maybe that's why it's not Radagast. So it's fucking Gandalf, Isn't and it's not fucking Sauron. Smaller? Or unless they kill, it's just another Maiar or whatever. What is it called? Uh, Maiar that dies in order for Sauron to form. So he gets tricked, and that's where Sauron's power half is, and then Halbrand is the human half, and then they they form into a meg- megazord, megazord. Mega Sauron. Dude, I would love if the Megazord just showed up Megazord. Like, yeah, <laughs> and killed too. everyone. Yeah, just <laughs> uh, all the elves and Galadriel and everybody. So, um, Halbrand is Sauron. Instead of a great army defeating the orcs and Sauron in, in, in Sauron in his battle form, in his fucking ring battle form, and then fucking taking him prisoner. No, not the ring, not at that point, you know, the ring, but taking him prisoner. Instead of that badass like battle, we get 47 soldiers fighting in a village and an eruption which wounds Halbrand so he can get taken to the elves. No, because he needs to go to Numenor. Numenor. So then the elves say, no, because he needs to go to the elves first to put the idea of the rings. Yeah. And then... Sauron versus the elves is the first <clears throat> okay, of the yeah, battles. Right. Okay. So how's ha- this is what we're going to do, Joe. This is how I think they're going. They'll take him to the elves. The elves will build the army. They'll fight. And then somewhere in there, then Halbrand gets wounded again. And then he gets taken to Numenor. And then Numenor. he does all the fucking bullshit there and converts Farazhan. Does Mir- does he force Muriel to become his wife when she gets back? <clears throat> uh, Halbrand? 
No, Alfaro's on. Alfaro's on? I, I guess. Like, I mean, like, this season. I don't this, know this what season. The, the, this season? Hell no, there's one fucking episode so left. She's, she's, been, she's been gone three days, but she's going to get back and, like, Numenor's changed and he's, like, walking around. It's not and happening he's like, this season. He's still going to be a good guy in season one. They're just setting him up. Hey, he has these tendencies to kind of be a jerk. Trumpisms, I don't fucking know. The took a damage. The fucking elves. And then in season two, then that's when then he's he, going to yeah. be twisted. Anyways, uh, he needs uh, starting to believe no rings of power will be shown. No. <laughs> it's it's, it's, it's going to be a tease at most now with only. I don't think a tease at all. One episode. You, you might be right. Fuck I, this shite. It'd be so great if they like they show up and like there's all these rings made. And it's like, but can we see them? It's like, no. What happened? Was uh, this the, uh, uh, the best battle that we're going to see this entire season? Yes. Which one? The, the one we saw. The one that we just saw. Previously? Previous yes. Episode. Oh, the, the awful WWE fight between Aaron Deere and a big orc where the orc could have killed him at any point in time and just kept throwing him into random stuff. Or, or uh, the, uh, the time uh, two horses rode with two riders and uh, with a chain, a small thin chain, knocked over 57 orcs without getting knocked off their horses. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yes. That's going to be the best battle for season one. That is a puff. That's that's their climax. That is the patheticest season no. one ever. <laughs> this is like, so we're in like the the gross like the wipe down phase. Like, oh, uh, well, this episode the post nut clarity <laughs> phase of the of the fight. All right, yeah, unfortunately. And to, and to wrap this up, I'm trying, but I have so much to say. It's contradicting. Remember how it said I'm going to we're going to pay respect. We're not going to contradict. We're not going to change things. It Shit. contradicts the appendices that it literally pulls from. Because that's what they had to help make this. They're and they're like, not very long. Either. And they're not very long. They're literally dates and things that are happening. So now they're contradicting the appendices. The thing they have the rights to, a Balrog slays during the sixth in the third age. Yeah. This Durin that we see here is the grandfather of Durin. The Durin that we like is the grandfather of the eventual Durin who is slayed by the Balrog. And the shit goes down in the ruin. Mm -hmm. At no point in the second age does a Balrog go crazy and cause a doom and kill everyone. Yeah. As far as I am knowing the lore. So if that's what they're going to do... They also specifically I say... I guess the, the, the fucking Balrog wakes up and says, Who the fuck put this leaf in here? And then he goes back to sleep. Or maybe this one's a nice one. Oh, he's like, hey, here's your leaf back. <laughs> Puts the leaf back. <laughs> <laughs> yes. They said in an interview that there's so much stuff to happen in the second age that they don't need to take anything from the third age and put it in the second age, and uh, that was a, that was a, a lie. lie. We determined because that because they want to awaken the Balrog. <laughs> don't go anywhere, please. Watch our show. The, 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 the Balrog. We have a Balrog. He's coming. It's too soon, man. <laughs> in Lord it's of the Rings, soon. he's coming. Awakening of the Balrog is a thousand years earned and built up thing. Instead, now he gets mad because a leaf is thrown at him, and this is exactly what's wrong with the show. This scene right here. Stealing from the third age to make the second age more interesting, like Alex said, is like this please watch our show desperate thing. It is a complete laughing stock, and I hate it. And the way the new... It, you, you would have already pissed me off if the Numenorians got depicted the way they were, but the fact that you're fucking up all of these other elements, even if you don't care about the lore, you're still messing up all these other elements. You win one scrimmage and or lose it, and then you just go home... It's an exercise in stupidity, uh, stupid decisions, stupid writing, treating its audience as uh, stupid idiots, teleporting across the fucking world. Um, I swear to God, they're going to make a next episode. And then uh, now the show is... Uh, I have zero interest for the finale. Do you guys... Are you guys interested? I've been done. What's, what's going to be the cool thing in the finale, Joe? The reveal. The reveal of Sauron? No. The reveal of... The ring. He's gonna show some interest in uh, rings. Yeah. Oh, he'll do one line where it's like, "Oh shit, is he Sauron?" Mm. That's when they'll do the more outward. Is he? Yo, he'll be because all these other ones are ones that we picked up as lorists, yeah. right? He'll, he'll he'll probably show up in a regian. He'll be healed. He'll be walking over to a forge and be like, "Oh, what are you working <laughs> on there, buddy?" <laughs> and, then, yeah. and then it's just like credits roll. Yeah. And then the writers will be jerking off, going, "Yeah, yeah we oh. did it." Oh, oh yeah! Oh yeah! yeah rub it God in! Damn. Get that, rub it in! Get that mithril all over! Oh yeah! Saturate yourself white. in it! Glossy! No. 
Mithra, it heals you, Joe. Yeah. It breaks lore, too, but it heals you. It, it makes it. Gil Galahad an idiot, and everyone's an idiot in this show. Okay, and then one, uh, this is for real. This is the last thing. <laughs> so, at the beginning of creation of this piece of shit, the Tolkien estate had in front of them many different bids, millions of dollars. I would love to be in their position, right? Uh, but HBO, Netflix, Amazon, HBO wanted to do, and they've, they've revealed this, HBO wanted to redo Lord of the Rings, a brand new Lord of the Rings. And they were like, no, man, that was a great trilogy. Why would we want to erase that? No. Yeah. And we've already covered that. So they told HBO no. Netflix. Ooh, these Netflix came in. They scared the estate because they were like, we want to do the MCU. We want Gandalf to have his own show. We want Aragon to have his own show. We want to have a, a, an individual shows, and then they're going to come together in these massive battles, and we're going to have this and that. And you know what? It scared them, right? And Netflix's track record, we've seen with no Resident order. Evil and, and Cowboy Bebop, Death Note is and... de it's not good. But now let's come to Amazon, who wins. Uh, but unfortunately, they, had, they were the ones that had the lack of talent and respect, and they fucked it. They fucked it up. Now, can they correct here in season two? No. Season two is already filming. It's already underway. It's already revealed that uh, Celebre Celeborn is, will be in season two. They're, they're going to cast him, and he's going to show up. Um, <clears throat> and I just don't think that, and I think, and they've called the uh, critics patently evil. So we're all evil now if we don't like the show. But I'm not going to say that. They're probably just talking about the racists which nobody even gives a shit about anymore, about black trolls and, and black elves. <laughs> which actually, now that I, uh, we, we have to talk about that, it, it really does seem like tokenism, to tokenism, not tokenism. J-R-R, Tolkien, Tol black guys. <laughs> Tolkien. So the, we talked about this off screen, and it's like Aaron Deere's one of the best characters, Deez is one of the best characters, and like their inclusion is no, no issue whatsoever. Right. The issue is when it feels like corporate pandering, when they've got a checklist that they're like, uh, well, we need a black elf. It's like, oh, cool, you're going to make like the Mirkwood elves. Like, yeah. You're going to do something in building no. culture. And they're like, no, we're going to give you fucking one. one. And it's like... Uh, he is literally a... To it, it, one. Yeah, he's a Tolkien black guy. We're, and, and and I tried to look for another uh, elf. I couldn't find him. Maybe it was dirty in the, in the prison. And then I tried to look for another black a dwarf or a, another female dwarf. Couldn't find him. Mm -hmm. The only ones that they did uh, a good job is with the um, what you, you call herpes? herpes. Oh, the herpes. Yeah, the herpes. There's there's <laughs> multiple Foots. people of color. Oh, the, yeah, <laughs> yeah, in, yeah. In, in there. But it's like the issue is what a lot of the, the people are like. Well, it feels like you're just gonna put them in there because of your weird diversity checklist, and that's ended up what ended up happening in season one. So okay. it's it's a shame. So Amazon fucked it up, but I think it was because the lack of writing talent, lack of direction. They literally handed the show to a newbie, and that was wrong that yeah. was the wrong thing to do because if it went to if they hired spent some of that money on an excellent writing team or something like that this could have been legendary oh for and sure. now i'm even curious uh, i don't want what hbo did was wanting to do but now it's like netflix i mean maybe that could have been good like no i don't like the yeah, spinoff shows much. but how they want to make it so big at least it wouldn't be so fucking small feeling is Netflix was going to spend some money as well. But no, Amazon has it, and now all we can do is hope that uh, they will listen to some of the feedback, maybe from people like us. It's, hey, I'm not racist. I'm not, I'm not even fucking conservative. I'm fucking progressive, you know. But And even I am telling you, your writing is bad. You're fucking up canon. You're not paying respect to Tolkien. You're making your own stories up, and the stories that you're making up are bad. Whoever is writing uh, Durin and Elrond, that's how we need to expand that type of relationship with the rest of the characters in this show. All right? Cool. All right, guys. That's it for this one. Thank you so much. Super long. One hour and oh, yeah. 23 minutes. But, you know, this is something that, uh, you know, I care about. I like I like the universe. Uh, I like the Peter Jackson trilogy. And I'm starting to get into the actual token books and uh, Tolkien books. And, and I, you know, it's like, why? 
Unless somebody can tell me, why didn't they just buy the Cimmerillion rights too? Unless the Tolkien estate is, no, you can only have this, and, and we'll see if you can have the rest of it. But by that, they've already fucked it up. If you so fail a recipe... If you get it na- later, it doesn't matter because they fucked it up. Yeah, if you fail a recipe because you didn't have the ingredients and you tried anyway, that's your fuck up. That's like, if you, you knew what you had going <laughs> into this, and it, you know it's you, right. you fucked yeah. it up. So. so we have enough story here that we can... We can make it work. They were trying to stretch what they had and it didn't work. All right. That's it, guys. Thank you all so much. And we will see you on the next Angry Joe show. Bye, Bye, guys. guys.